In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding all possible rational zeros using the rational zeros theorem, problem type two. We're asked to find all possible rational zeros for g of x, and when we create that list to make sure we're only writing numbers once, and our g of x is already in descending order, and we should recall that from the possible rational zeros theorem, all of our potential zeros would be in the form of p over q, where p is the factors of our constant term, and q is all the possible factors of our leading coefficient. So here, p would be all the possible factors of 6, and the factors of 6 are either 6 and 1, 2 and 3, so just listing them in order here, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, and plus or minus 6. For q, we're working with the leading coefficient here, 3. So the factors of 3 are just 1 and 3. So plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 3. So all of our fractions here for p over q, I'll start with my first p, plus or minus 1, over my first q, also plus or minus 1, gives me my first potential 0. 1 divided by 1, plus or minus 1. Sticking with that first p, there is the second combination here where q could be plus or minus 3. So listing that one would have plus or minus 1 in the numerator, plus or minus 3 in the denominator, which here simplifies 1 divided by 3 plus or minus 1 third. So we've covered both possibilities. When p was 1, if we move to the second p, we have plus or minus 2. And again, two possibilities for q, the first being plus or minus 1. 2 divided by 1 is 2, so we have plus or minus 2. Sticking with that same p, we could have the second q value, so a p of plus or minus 2 and a q of plus or minus 3. This fraction would simplify to a plus or minus 2 thirds. That covers the possibility for 2. Our next p is 3. And starting with the first q, which is 1, would give me a plus or minus 3 in the numerator and a plus or minus 1 in the denominator, simplifying to plus or minus 3. So far, we haven't seen anything repeat. My next possibility here is where q is plus or minus 3. We still have the plus or minus 3 for p in the numerator, and this time a plus or minus 3 in the denominator. This would simplify to 1, but I already have 1 represented in my list, and we were told to make sure that it only appears once for each possible 0. So I'm not going to list this one again, just noting that it's a duplicate. And I can now move on to my last p, which is 6 in the numerator over the first q, plus or minus 1. That simplifies to a plus or minus 6. And then my last possibility is where we still have the 6 in the numerator and now a 3 in the denominator. So plus or minus 6 over plus or minus 3. This would simplify to plus or minus 2. But again, I already have this one in my list, so I'm not going to add it again. It's a duplicate. My potential zeros would all be from this list.